Today in its 2015 Ford F-250 Super Duty, we're going to review and install the Reese Quick Install Custom Installation Kit with base rails for fifth wheel trailer hitches. Alright, this is what the rails look like when it's installed in your truck. You can see it's a conventional 10 bolt system with two rails that can attach to your fifth wheel or gooseneck adapter. Let's take a closer look at some of the details here. You notice all these slots on top of the rails on both of them? These are intended for different size hitches that are out there. Some are wider than others depending on the weight capacity. And also the narrower ones here are used for your gooseneck adapter hitches. Installation wise, this is a 10 bolt system. You can count five bolts in each rail. And these are only holes that you drill into your truck. When you go underneath the vehicle, we'll see the brackets and there's no drilling required underneath there. Here's our side bracket. We're looking on the driver's side of a truck. There's one continuous piece of steel that attaches to the truck using existing holes here and here. All the hardware is included with the hitch. It can be grade 5 or above to install this hitch. Now checking out the reviews for a hitch, you can see the common theme is how well it fits. If we take a look at the frame bracket, you can see that it does fit flat on the frame. However, wherever it needs, to need, needs it, if you look on the, the holes here, depending on the truck and accessories that it's built with, either gas or diesel, long or short bit, it can accommodate that uh, frame. Now this is a Reese product and of course it will work with Reese hitches, but it will also work with draw tight hidden hitch, pro series, valley and husky hitches. Although the one Reese hitch it will not fit will be the Reese elite series or the valley UBS series hitches. First part of our install is to remove the spare tire to give us some extra work room underneath and also we want to lift the frame off the suspension using some jacks and some stands uh, to give you more work room underneath here because you're going to need that. We'll start off in the bed of our truck by laying out our rails. We need a measurement from the edge of the bed, not from the tailgate, going up towards the truck as described in the instructions. So I'm measured out, now mark it, I'm going to do this on two sides of the truck. That way, so when I put my rail up to it, it'll be even. Now that I have my front to rear distance set, I'm going to measure left to right at these seams on both sides to make sure it's equal left to right. Next, I'll carefully find the center of the hole here, and using a 1 8 drill bit, I'm going to drill through the bed. And yes, these always end up on that seam right there. Now we'll drill out these two on the outside here, and we'll also drill out this hole right here for a center. Over here on our passenger side, we'll do the same thing we did on our driver's side. We'll check our work by taking a frame bracket. We're on our driver's side here. We'll hold it up, make sure that this bracket fits around the hat channel here, push up against the frame, and make sure it lines up the holes we drilled. We'll look for our drilled holes out in the center of our frame. Once we're satisfied with our pilot holes, we'll go ahead and drill it out. I like to use two bits, uh, roughly maybe a half inch, and then finish it off with a 916 drill bit. You will have two layers of metal to go through, by the way. We'll continue the same process for our remaining holes. We'll clean off all our tailings from our drilling, and then we'll seal up our holes using some spray paint, or you could use some clear coat as well. Okay, we'll get out of the bed of a truck and move on to the brackets that go into the side of the frame. Put them back where they were originally, and we checked our drill holes. Then we're going to take our hardware that's provided with the kit, we'll put it through these two holes here and here. At this point, you want an extra set of hands to help hold this up in place. We'll install the hardware on the back, which will be these handle nuts. Looking on the inside of the frame on our driver's side, here's our bolt and here's our handle nut. We'll start them on and when we tighten it down, you can see how the handle nut will hit the side of the frame. There's one here and we'll do the same one going up towards the front. You have to reach over the wiring and the lines to get to it though, but it can be done. We'll also repeat the same process over on the passenger side, which is a lot easier. I'm going to hold my bracket up against the bottom of the bed and I'll snug down the bolts using an 18 millimeter socket. Now I just want to snug them down, I'm not going to tighten them down fully, I just want to take up the slack. We're getting close to installing the hardware from the bed through the frame bracket. However, to do that, there's a gap between this piece of metal here, the hat channel, and where the corrugation goes up. We have to fill it up with a piece of metal. 
to make it easier, take a pry bar or some kind of or a big screwdriver and try to work that hat channel down a little bit. It's just enough to help get the, uh, the spacer block to go in there. And this is a spacer block that needs to fit up against corrugation and slide in and over the hat channel. That way we've got constant metal metal contact all the way through. A lot of the time it's going to be a tight fit pushing this in there. You may have to tap it into place. We'll have to repeat the same process on this side and eventually on a hat channel going towards the front of the truck as well. And also on both sides of the truck. Now here's our, you can see a corner of our block that we pushed in. We want to use an alignment tool or, or maybe a big screwdriver to help get it into the right spot so it doesn't overlap the hole. Then we'll take a rail, put it over top of it and drop our two inch long carriage bolts. If any luck, they'll go through both pieces and out the bottom, and we can attach our hardware. Okay. We got these two done. We'll, do, we'll drop one into center, okay. and the other two on the other side. On the bottom, we'll need to attach this block with the round hole. Conk tooth washer. You notice there's teeth in the washer. That's going to go facing towards the block within a half inch nut. Now it may help to have somebody on a bed to help push down the bolt to help get it started as well. We got our hardware installed here and here and we'll repeat that same process on the other side of our truck. Our bolt in the center, I pushed it back out because I have to put this block again to make metal metal contact through here so I'm just going to slide it, get it started. I did pull this out a little bit and I'll just work it in. I'll pry it in and I'll drop my bolt back through. I'll install a conk tooth washer and nut. Now we'll find a placement for our second rail. To do that, we'll be using a hitch that we'll be using with the truck. I'll line up with the first rail we put in, make sure it fits okay. Then align the second one. They'll put it in place for us. We'll check for square and then mark and draw our holes just like we did with the front rail. I also like to put the pins into place to make sure it all centers up properly in the rail. And I'll check for square on each side. Now we'll drill them out just like we did before. Our pilot bit, we'll double check on the bottom drill to our 9 16 hole. When we do that, we'll take all the hardware and pieces out of the way for our last hole size. Now, hardware is going to be pretty much the same. You have the, the, our spacer block in between the hat channel and the bed frame. Here's our bolt. And we're still going to add another flat block, a conical tooth washer, and a nut. So the main difference being that this does attach to the bed support here and that's it. it. There's not a frame bracket for this bolt to attach to. With all the hardware in place now, we can go ahead and hand tighten all our bolts. I want to hand tighten my bolts going to the frame bracket to the cross rail on top. Okay. Now to tighten all this down, I'm using a three quarter inch socket. And after I have these hand tight on both sides, I'm going to double check my hitch to make sure I can easily remove it and put it back into the rails. Then I'll torque these bolts down as specified in the instructions. Now we'll tighten down the frame brackets to the frame and we'll be using an 18 millimeter socket for that. Now I'll finish it for the Reef Quick Install Custom Installation Kit on this 2015 Ford F-250 Super Duty.